By identifying the true perpetrator quickly, DNA identification will help crime units focus their investigations, thereby saving time, manpower, money, and countless lives. And the process, as well as privacy, associated with DNA collection is simple, no more invasive than fingerprinting or photographing arrestees. Like a fingerprint, DNA contains unique characteristics that may help positively identify an individual. However, fingerprints aren't always intact and may not even be present at a crime scene. Fortunately, the chances of finding material with DNA, such as blood, skin, hair, fingernails, or saliva, is far greater. Here's how it works. When biological material is found at a crime scene, it is processed to develop a unique DNA profile using data from just 13 locations along the complete human genome of more than 3 billion DNA markers. This DNA profile is a set of numbers unique to each individual, and other than gender, it does not reveal any information about any personal characteristics, such as hair color, age, or race. Once a profile is created, it is uploaded to a database that contains DNA profiles of persons who have been arrested or convicted. The new profile is cross-referenced for potential matches. If a match is made, only then is a crime laboratory notified and information released to investigators. Now, it's important to note that this entire process has been designed to protect individual privacy. For instance, each profile is stripped of any individual's name and given a specimen ID number when digitized, so it remains completely anonymous. Additionally, profiles are inaccessible by third parties and are not part of the criminal history record. The same can't be said of fingerprints.